In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 Air Plasma Cutter. And what makes this plasma cutter different than all the other ones is that it has a built-in air compressor. This video is not sponsored in any way. I got this from a local welding store and they gave it to me at a little bit better price than the cheapest online price. And because I have an account at the store, after each time I buy more stuff there, I get a better discount. Yeah, so here it is. And this is my Hypertherm PowerMax 45. I've had this for about 12 years. It's been great. The only problem I ever had with it is I'm using these motor guard filters and before I put the water trap in my airlines, a bunch of water got inside this and corroded the aluminum all up. And that corrosion went into the actual internal filter in the machine and there's a water drain and it was holding the water drain up and where it was leaking air. And I just had to take it apart and clean that out. Yeah, and here's the water traps I made. They're out of two pieces of inch and a half pipe. But with the PowerMax 30 Air, since it has a built-in air compressor, I won't ever have that problem. Yeah, and this is very nicely packaged, and this is made and assembled in the United States. And even like the other big welding companies, they're not made in the United States anymore, most of their stuff. And it's very well packaged so the cord doesn't get bent. And this is also a dual voltage machine. Yeah, and it comes with a really nice owner's manual. And it also comes with some kind of safety manual. I've never seen this before. And the other one that I have doesn't have that. And it comes with an accessories catalog. And there's a circle attachment. I didn't buy it for this one since I have it for the other one. Yeah, and if you're buying one of these, you want to buy one of the accessory uh, torch parts kits. And the part number is 851462. And the parts you're going to use the most of are the electrode and the nozzle. I also bought more of the electrodes. and That's the nozzle and the electrodes. And I also bought the torch uh, cable cover. That just keeps sparks off of it. It's a leather thing that goes over it. It's kind of like this one here, but this one they gave me free. Uh, some company that I bought it from years ago. Yeah, and with plasma cutting, I recommend Shade 5 glasses. And these are actually prescription glasses. And I bought them from some company on eBay, and there's the information. You can also use an auto darkening welding helmet and turn it way down. And this is what this machine will cut. On 240 volts the top um, chart. And on 120 volts you can see it cuts about half the speed. I normally cut mostly eighth inch and quarter inch thick metal. And it has 15 foot torch and the uh, ground. And it only weighs uh, 29.8 pounds. Yeah, and it also comes with one spare electrode and nozzle. And I've not seen this before on Hypertherm. My other one's not like this, but it has twist lock cord. And then you put the, either the 120 or the 240 uh, plug on there. Yeah, and this machine's definitely packaged very well. It doesn't move around in a box at all. And it also has a sticker on here that tells what each different part for the torch is, so you have the part numbers. And on 240 volts, this machine only draws 15 amps. Yeah, it also comes with this strap that goes on the top. And the circle guide that I have for the 45 also fits this one, and this is the part number, 804280. Yeah, it also tells you on 120 volts you can go up to 20 amps, and then on 240 volts you can turn it all the way up. I'm normally going to use this only on 240 volts. And here's that torch cover, and it's just got Velcro, and it, it goes around the torch, the cable. And I'm going to do this off camera, I'm going to put this on here. And it's 25 feet long, so about 10 feet has to be cut off of here. Yeah, so I got this cover on here. 
And all this does is so when the cable's laying on the ground and you're cutting close to it, the sparks don't hurt the cable. And the best way I've found to do this is to lay it out on the floor in your house and then cut this, you want to cut this cover where it's a little bit longer because it, eventually it starts getting bunched up to where it doesn't go all, cover the whole entire cable up. Yeah, and I just set this on this welding cart that I made in another video just to get it out of my way. And I'm going to plug it into a, a 20 amp 240 uh, socket that I made this adapter up with. Yeah, this is a piece of quarter inch plate. I'm going to try it out on that first. And on these hypertherms, the power switch is in the back. Yeah, so you can hear that internal uh, air compressor. Yes, it, it does quarter inch, no problem. And I think this is three sixteenths actually. Yeah, one thing I noticed about the torch is different. It, this end here is a half an inch in diameter. On the 45, it's only three eighths of an inch in diameter. So if you're cutting a straight line, you're going to clamp a piece of metal on there. You'd have to have it spaced a quarter of an inch over. Yeah, here's the one on the 45. It's much smaller. So this is a piece of eighth inch plate, so if I want to cut a half an inch off of that, I'll clamp a piece of metal on it three quarters of an inch in. And then you just drag the tip up against it. Yeah, so I'm going to cut a piece of half an inch off of this, and I've got this guide set at uh, three quarters of an inch. So then all you're going to do is just run the tip up against it, and that's going to cut a half an inch off.
again, that's all there is to that. Yeah, I like this plasma cutter. I think it works almost as good as the 45. The 45 just got a little bit more power. But what I'm planning on doing is with this is putting it in a truck or a van and then I can do mobile jobs. Since it doesn't need an air compressor and the air compressor I'm going to carry is just real tiny because I, I don't hardly ever use an air compressor anymore. I'm using all electric tools. Yeah, and this thing works great. I'll put a link to Hypertherm's website in the description. And I also found an Amazon link to these prescription uh, Shade 5 welding glasses. And I'll, I'll put that link in the description too.